when I met my crook, it was like in the movies. When Juliet looks at Romeo and it's pew. She had fallen in love with him and become obsessed by him. The next thing I know, he vanished into thin air. The prime focus of this tabloid story aren't the questionable activities of journalists, but the differing accounts of what happened to Joyce McKinney, a former Miss Wyoming who went to Britain to retrieve the man she viewed as her boyfriend, a Mormon, in 1977. That's the conclusion, but the love has never ended. According to some British tabloid reports at the time, he was kidnapped and taken to a cottage where he was forced to have sex with McKinney. One of the British tabloid reporters says it so much better than I possibly could say it. You know, he said it has sex in chains, it has the kidnapping of a Mormon priest, the possible rape of a man by a woman. Uh, uh, and now I quote him directly, it had something for everybody. Uh, it was the perfect tabloid story. This nightmare ordeal happened to what was once a normal all-American kid. Joyce McKinney has given plenty of screen time to tell her story. According to her, she traveled to Britain to free the love of her life, missionary Kirk Cameron, from the clutches of the Mormon church. All I knew is this powerful group had done something to the man I loved. The film presents different narratives. It doesn't provide or can't provide the definitive account of what actually happened to Joyce McKinney. There were limits to Morris's investigation. Well, only three people can tell us the story. Kirk Anderson, the Mormon missionary, Joyce's obsessive love object. He ain't talking to me. KJ, her friend and partner in this whole crazy escapade, is dead. So I'm left with one story, Joyce's story. The British Isles was on fire with the Joyce McKinney story. I was a celebrity. She was having the time of her life, disguises and wigs. The subject matter of tabloid is less serious than some of Errol Morris's previous documentaries. One celebrated film of his resulted in the freeing of an innocent man on death row. Others have documented the dark decisions of individuals during US military conflicts. With tabloid, his aim was different. Uh, I wanted to make an entertaining movie. I wanted to make a funny movie. Uh, I had some of the most amazing characters that I've ever put on film. They're fabulous. They're funny. They're interesting. Errol Morris also hopes his films shed some light on the nature of journalism, tabloid journalism, on how stories are constructed and then sold. Is Joyce a completely innocent victim in all of this? No. But did the tabloids take this story and whip it up and exaggerate it uh, in a million different ways? You betcha. Today's date is September 25th, 1986. Whatever one makes of his film, and most critics have praised it, Joyce McKinney is a fascinating woman, however one chooses to interpret her accounting of her story.